Welcome everyone, this is Joy of Joy Morris Beauty and in this video I'm conducting an experiment to see what happens when you layer different shades of a lip stain. So subscribe and stay tuned. Now I absolutely love the NARS brand. I have many shades of the blush in both my professional and personal kit and I actually worked for NARS at a trade show some years back and that was when I discovered the cult following that this brand has. And really it's for good reason because NARS makes great products. Now within the past year or so, I started slowly buying their lip stains, which are called the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment. And I thought it'd be a fun experiment to layer different shades and see what happens. So the first one that I'm going to be layering is um, called Light My Fire, which is a vivid orange red. And you'll see, um, you can see that I'm putting it on my lips now. It is such a beautiful shade for women of color and it just pops on the skin. It absolutely pops. Now this shade, it reminds me of summertime. It reminds me of wicker purses and it reminds me of a bright warm sun. So I'm planning on wearing this shade a lot this summer. And one of the nice things about the NARS um, lip Power Matte Lip Pigment is the custom doe foot applicator. As you can see, it really helps to provide an effortless and also precise application. And you can really get a um, full coverage look very easy and effortlessly. Now over that, I'm gonna go over that with the next shade, You're No Good. You're No Good is a dark reddish, reddish fuchsia. And um, if you have followed me on social media for a while, you know that fuchsia is my favorite color. Now, I'm a very visual person and I'm someone who strongly senses emotions from colors and fuchsia is one of those colors that just makes me feel happiness. I feel like the, the you're no good um, kind of took over the, the light my fire, but the light my fire provided a nice base to that look um, that I actually really like that look. Now the next one that I'm putting on, um, this is called Rock With You. Rock With You is a deep mulberry shade. And this was actually the first color that I purchased um, from this specific product lineup. What made me pick it up was I read an article that said it's the type of color that would look good on nearly every woman, which kind of piqued my interest. I said, well, I'll start there. Now on its own, if you layer it, it gives a very strong statement. Um, but I honestly haven't worn it enough to have a specific opinion on it. You can see with me applying it on top of the Light My Fire and also You're No Good shade that um, it, it just kind of gave a very sheer overwash on it and toned those colors down a little bit. But I like the mix um, that's taking place with those three shades. I was thinking when I did this that You're No Good would really overpower the others, but it did not. This last shade is called American Woman, with it, which is a chestnut rose. Now, if you ask me, this is one of those shades that will look great on multiple skin tones. And when I was busy as a bridal makeup artist, I actually used to enjoy using a shade similar to this on my brides. And it's the type of shade that I would wear every day. And I love how that layered on top of the prior three shades. So the verdict for me is that this formula is very comfortable. It coats the lips nicely. It doesn't feel drying. It worked with layering multiple shades. The shades didn't blend so much as they layered nicely on top of each other to create a custom color. And I like the lips so much that I did a mini photo shoot with myself and I used this picture for my birthday last month. So if you have some downtime, you may want to try this technique out and see what you come up with. So thanks so much for watching and for great beauty tips, make sure to subscribe and leave any comments or questions about the video below. And I'd love to hear what you think. Take care.